Hi Scorpio, welcome to your general forecast for April. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Scorpio, we'll take a look at the energy around you at this time. We're going to take it as it comes. So it could be love, it could be general, work, career, finance, whatever the messages are and however they resonate for you. Please take it as such. Uh, please don't try to make it fit. If it's not your reading, it's not your reading. Please don't leave me negative comments. I will delete them. So please keep that in mind. Uh, it can be past, present, or future. Uh, may not resonate parts. Only parts may resonate. Uh, so please keep that in mind. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's male or female watching. So let's see what's going on with you, Scorpio. Hope everybody's doing well and staying safe and healthy during this time. So let's see what's going on with Scorpio. With Scorpio. If this doesn't resonate, you can check... Um, Playlist down below in the description box for your love and general readings. Maybe something there will. So you could go back if you'd like to. I do consider them all timeless, even though they're dated. And also in the description box in the top comment, you'll find more information, decks I'm using, links to purchase for yourself if you'd like to, uh, social media links if you'd like to reach out for personal reading. That info is below. If you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, that info is there. Not comfortable using PayPal for tips or donations. You may use uh, Super Chat during the premiere only as a form of energy exchange if you choose to also. And if you do, thank you. All right, Scorpio. This is a Zodiac Oracle, so we'll see what we get for you here. Scorpio, for Scorpio, please. Thank you so much. Sign, element, or planet for Scorpio at this time. What does Scorpio need to know at this time, Spirit, please? Thank you so much. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to take this top one here, which we have Mars energy, which is Aries energy. And this is all about that driven energy of having, um, being courageous and brave and determined and go-getter kind of energy. Uh, it can be a little aggressive also. And um, assertion, having confidence, passion and strength, competitiveness also. At 17, there is eight, and that is about taking action, travel, communication. So the emperor, uh, the Aries does represent the emperor in the tarot. So emperor, empress, so taking lead, control, charge, being, you know, your own boss, entrepreneur, leader. So we'll see how that plays out into your reading. Or you could be dealing with an Aries, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, Jupiter, or have it in your chart or know someone who has it in their chart. Could be a boss figure, a father figure. All right, so let's see. Let's see. Could be you or somebody around you. So with this deck here, I'm going to get an opening message for you, Scorpio. What is the opening message? And then I'll pull another for your energy. And then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot and then look into your actual situation. Advice, possible outcome, go over the bottoms of the deck, and then we'll get some extra messages at the end with the other oracle there uh, with Work Your Light. So let's see what we have for Scorpio. What is the opening message for Scorpio at this time, Spirit, please? Thank you so much. There we go. All right. Well, I just got this card. I just got this card. And to be honest, I don't like to take cards that have just come out in the previous reading. And I do clear the cards in between and sh shuffle, shuffle in between before I come on camera between readings. So let's try this again. All right, there we go. Okay, so we have the Lady of the Gift, Generosity, Receiving, and Withholding. And we have two there, which is about 20, which is two, which is about unity. The Lady of the Gift. So this is about equal give and take, being generous, but also receiving, but then some may be withholding. So something in your energy, your opening message here is it's okay to be generous, to give, to receive, but sometimes you need to withhold a little bit for yourself, you know, and it's not being selfish. It's just, you can't give, give, give all the time, especially if not receiving equally in return. Sometimes you need to withhold and it could be from people that, uh, you're, you know, aligned with that show you are friends with or family or a lover or something. If you're not, get, if you're not getting back equally what you're giving, sometimes you just need to withhold your energy from people. 
And that's that Mars energy taking control of that situation and deciding, you know what, I'm just going to withhold because I'm not getting what I'm receiving equally. And I know, you know, sometimes it's just all about giving, but you can't give, give, give of yourself all the time because you can deplete yourself. So, and you may have a lot to give to other people. You may be gifted in some way, but all right. And people have to be open to receiving if you have gifts of some way. So let's see what your energy is here now. We have the Rainbow Prince, Compensation, Perseverance, 26, which is 8. Again, which is about taking action, control, movement. So this is, you know, it's telling you not to give up here. But are there ways that you're compensating for maybe something you're lacking? If you're lacking in a certain energy or whatever in a certain way you may be compensating and using your gifts in other ways and still persevering on that could be the energy that you're in maybe you have to withhold certain things because you lack um, either knowledge or or something here in a certain field or whatever it is here so maybe you compensate some of you uh, in other ways but in energy here of not giving up to keep persevering on. I do say like rainbow colors there for luck, expansion. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck here. The dream walker, dreams, the collective good, and illusions. And we have eight again. So we have eight, three times, four times, because you're eight Scorpio. We have eight, four times. So you may want to look up um, angel number eight, 88, 888. Um, there may be something here, especially with that Mars energy, you need to take action on in some way, shape, or form. Whatever you may be lacking in, even though you're compensating in other ways, maybe you need to work hard to bring that up to par, to in, up to other areas that, you're, that you excel in. Because we do have the dream worker here. So, you know, it's about dreams and... I'm not getting like illusions, but like just dreaming of um, better things, better way for the collective good also. So I feel like your heart's in the good place for the collective good. But it also can talk about illusions here. So don't disillusion yourself either to certain things. Um, no, you could be lacking in a certain area in life and knowledge, whatever it is for you. You know, maybe you're disillusioning yourself, illusioning yourself. You know, oh, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. But if you dream of improving yourself in, in any way, shape, or form, it's only going to help you, everyone around you, the collective good of you and everyone. So I would say, you know, you've been holding back in that area to improve a certain area in your life. Maybe it's time to take control and move forward and uh, do something about it. Take action. All right, so what's going on here with Scorpio? What's going on here with Scorpio? <clears throat> Scorpio, please. Scorpio, please. What's going on in this energy for Scorpio? Whoa. The Eight of Cups. So energy of walking away from something, but you can walk to something more fulfilling. So, you know, we do have cups here that are all tipped over, and we have four, three that are tipped, four that are, five that are standing, three that are tipped. So the three that are tipped could be the where you're lacking, but you're kind of turning your back to that. Like, well, I got five cups that are full, so I could compensate in other ways. Kind of energy. All right. What, however that means for you. I can't make this up. <laughs> we have the emperor. Really? And I had just said that. Now is the time to turn around and just take control of the situation and take those three cups that are tipped over Stand them back up and fill them with what you need to fill up so you no longer have to compensate for in areas that you're lacking. However that means for you. Could be anything. Can I just see another card? 
flipped here. I don't know. I guess I'll find it. Yep. I thought I did. So the page of cups. So there is one cup. So, okay. So now you did turn around and pick up one cup. <laughs> Still got two more though. Still got, so you could be, well, learning something new to fill that cup. Because the pages, pages can be youthful. They can be students. And now he has the six of pentacles coming in saying, okay, now we're getting more balanced here. We're getting more balanced. Now that we're pick, turning around, picking up those cups, filling them up where we are lacking, could be learning something new or whatever here. And now we're starting to balance ourselves out with the Six of Pentacles. All right. So what else here with the Scorpio? Wow. I can't make that. <laughs> wow. So now you have a big old Ace of Cups here. So... So now the divine is stepping in saying, okay, I see you turning around to make changes, picking up those tipped over cups that you're kind of turning your back on. And now you want to improve where you're lacking, where you're compensating so you can bring balance. So now I'm going to step in and even help you more along on your journey. And now you have this big old cup of self-love. They see you filling your cup with self-love spiritual energy, divinely guided energy, peace, harmony. Okay, let's get one more. Let's get one more. Let's get one more. In the two of pentacles. So still trying to balance out though. I mean, we do have balance here. <clears throat> So we're up to the eight. We got the six and the two of pentacles, which makes the eight of pentacles, which is still working hard. So we got two cups here, but there's still one left that's tipped over there. And I think that's the bat the big last cup you need to fill is this big ace of cups, which will lead you to a brand new divinely guided beginning of some kind, of being totally aligned, happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way, feeling totally fulfilled and balanced. All right, so what else here? The Knight, Knight of Cups. So there you go, there's your third cup. <laughs> wow, I can't make this up. So now we got the Knight of Cups. So now it's like you got your last cup in hand and now you feel like I've turned around, I've picked up my cups where I knew I was lacking, whatever that means for you. And I've improved myself, I filled them, I'm no longer compensating, I'm persevering on. So now I'm taking movement, action forward with all my cups filled of peace, happiness, joy, love, compassion, knowledge, passion, drive for life, ready to move forward now, being totally balanced with the Six of Pentacles. So this is your current situation in the Ace of Swords, so having truth and clarity, having a successful, victorious new beginning, divine intervention, stepping in with two Aces here. Wow. Divinely guided energy. Cutting away things that are no longer serving you. Cutting away that energy as well of, well, I can just, you know, compensate for where I'm lacking and just kind of get along in life. No, this is cutting away that energy and now no knowing what you needed to do. Having that truth and clarity. Standing up for yourself, not taking any BS either. Wow, okay. What else here? We got the Nine of Cups in reverse. The Nine and the Ace make the Ten, which would be total completion and fulfillment. For some reason, though, even though you filled all your cups, all the eight cups, the Divine is handing you that big cup there, which would make the Nine. But you still don't feel fulfilled for some reason. Because this is wishes and dreams coming true. But in reverse, it's like something is not, still not, something that you want or wished is still not happening for you. Or you, or you still don't feel happy for some reason. Oh, what is that? What is that about? What is that about? Why is the Nine of Cups in reverse? It's right in the middle of your spread, so you're not feeling 
totally even though I don't know maybe there's still a little bit of work you need to do the chariot so maybe you just you know even though you're all fulfilled now you've you're not lacking anymore um, you're starting to take movement forward but you're still not where you want to go yet I feel like you've just gotten in the chariot so you still you still haven't reached your destination oh, even though you've balanced yourself out and you have two new beginnings here just starting for you I feel like because you have not reached your final destination yet for some of you whatever that means for you um, like you haven't driven at home yet like you haven't driven this chariot home yet to whatever your wish your dream your happiness would be it's not completed yet because we do have the star here for divinely guided energy uh, hope dreams wishes and dreams coming true to remain um, hopeful and optimistic so yeah to stay strong courageous and brave here so I feel like all your strength so you have strength to see it through to the end where every whatever the wherever the finish line is for you I feel like you're just now you've needed to do what you had to do to be fulfilled and balanced but now it's like you want to reach a new destination like another change it's divinely guided for you healing energy but you're not quite yet at the finish line so you're not quite feeling happy fulfilled yet like your final wish has not come true yet but you're almost there to stay well committed to the journey but this is your advice all majors here and the hermit so wow let's get one more this is your advice all the look at all the major that just came out for you the chariot the star strength the Her hierophant and the hermit wow what else for the advice and the nine of swords so stress very stress fear worry and anxiety nervous energy so I think you're nervous about getting to your final destination but you see the hierophant is following the hermit <laughs> so divine energy is following you no matter where you go trying to tell you not to stress because your journey whatever your finish line is for you is coming for you just to stay committed to the journey here you see the path clearly you know it's there but stress and fear may be holding you back and you see strength turned away so you need to gather the strength here the confidence to face th this energy to get to where you want to go to your finish line willpower strength courageous brave energy taming those fears and, and stress and worry and, and anxieties the path is lit for you and follow it follow it with um, passion determination and stay committed to the journey all right so whatever this means for you whatever this means for you all right so all right let's see what your possible outcome would be here so we have the moon energy here we have the six of wands so we do have success and victory accomplishment but you're not seeing things clearly with the moon energy again could be fears um fear because you can't see the path clearly yet but you will be the queen of pentacles here so this is career related or something or having to do with finances or material things you will be very successful abundant stable and grounded for the long term practical wise success successful right there even though you may not be seeing it right now with the moon energy and you have some fear that it is coming for you that's your outcome wow so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck so we have the two of wands feeling like you're at a crossroads which way do i go what do i do fill all my cups getting over that fear stress worry anxiety energy self-doubt um low self-esteem maybe even so here's the page of pentacles again could be you know learning something new mastering your craft so you can master your craft to the ten of cups so there's the ten of cups so and I had said that once you get to your final destination here then you will be in the ten of cups energy here total happiness joy fulfillment happy home and family in every single way 
starting on this journey, taking a leap of faith, jumping right in, the full energy. I don't know why it's in reverse. With the sun here in the Wheel of Fortune. Are you kidding me? So divinely guided energy coming in for you. Something meant to be fate, destiny, fortune, abundance, the sun. Again, happiest card in the deck. Happy home and family, enlightenment, healing, success, victory, um, energy. Everything positive with the sun. So you're getting all this positive energy coming to you that's divinely guided to a happy total happiness success and joy and victory wow so we have sagittarius we have leo we have aquarius um let's see we have capricorn over here we have aries we have aquarius um capricorn pisces leo taurus virgo what do we have over here the knight of cups which is your energy, Scorpio. Uh, and those are the signs that I see. Cancer, Aquarius. So if the signs mean anything to you. Wow. All right, so let's get some extra message for you here, Scorpio. Scorpio, just get a big energy of finally, instead of just compensating to where you were lacking, finally deciding to balance yourself out and fulfill yourself in ways where you were lacking so now you can move forward and drive this chariot to the finish line of where you're at wherever that finish line is for you although you're a little nervous and scared you may not think you can get there but you will get there it's divinely guided for you you just need courage and strength and stay committed to the journey all right scorpio scorpio Let's get some extra messages for you. If you do like my energy, how I read, if you're new to my channel, feel free to check it out. Like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. You won't miss out. I like to read the comments. I love to read the comments. You get five readings a month. You get a general love, a singles love reading, messages from spirit, a bonus reading where I take a look at a little bit of love, life, and then advice for you. So if you're interested in all that, feel free. And if you do, thank you. So what do we have here? The Great Gathering. It's all coming together. Intuitive hits. Soul tribe. Exactly. It's all going to come together for you, Scorpio. Listen to your intuition. All right. So maybe uh, coming into a new soul tribe, soul family. All right. So let's see here. For Scorpio. Any other messages for we got two here so we have Lemuria creating heaven on earth it's happening so creating your own heaven on earth unbound releasing soul patterns contracts and past lives so releasing yourself from this way of just thinking and being that okay I'm just gonna live my life by not fulfilling myself and just compensating from where I'm lacking and finally releasing yourself from that um, Toxic way of maybe thinking, patterns, whatever they uh, were for you. It could stem from past lives also. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck here. Star mother, how can you mother yourself? So again, nurturing yourself, um, healing yourself, improving yourself, learning new things, fulfill, refilling all your cups back up, and uh, being the star mother that you probably are meant to be because we did have a star right here. Scorpio. Wow. Okay, Scorpio. Well, I hope that resonated for you. Best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, it's to always, always shine your light.